Welcome into the Perpendicular Mouth. We're back. Violating your host, deprecating on the microphone. My name is Zach. His name is Realize. We go hard so you can keep it soft and silky like your Velveteen Rabbit. Oh, yeah. And we have a wonderful show for you today coming off the second half of our online live on Be Live through the Perpendicular Mouths group. This is the greatest Bruce of all time. The greatest Bruce of all time. But before we find out who is or was or shall be the greatest Bruce of all time, why don't we get a word from our presenting sponsor? Realize. Uh, Brother Zach, I'm so glad you asked. Today's presenting sponsor is our good friends at Bud Light Seltzer. Bud Light Seltzer has put out a brand new holiday pack. They're called their Christmas Sweater Pack with four delicious flavors. Like this one right here, Apple Crisp. Mmm. <sighs> Appalicious. They also have Cranberry, Ginger Snap, and Peppermint Patty. So if you like to get drunk to the flavor of holiday cheer, pick yourself up a delicious 12-pack of Bud Light Seltzer at your nearest Walmart or other affiliate. Thank you so much for that, and thank you to Bud Light Seltzer for paying all that money to sponsor this little show. Mm. All right, let's move on to the greatest Bruce of all time. Now, here's the thing with the Bruce's. There's not a ton of Bruce's out there. The, the, Bruce is a rather unique category. So we don't even have any also rands. They don't really make Bruce's anymore. There's not that? a lot of Bruce's. He, the, no. You know, the, the probably the most famous Bruce in the world changed their name so they didn't have to be a Bruce anymore. Oh, that's an also ran. That's our that's our one also ran. But, but but they're but they're not even there. That's that's my point. It's it Bruce. Jenner is now Caitlyn Jenner because Bruce's are just abandoning shit. They're 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 gone. There you go. They're, that's do you why. know any do you know do you know any kids named Bruce? Fuck no. But that's why it's an also ran because Bruce Jenner was was like on the cover of Wheaties and and all that Kardashian fame and all that. But bye bye, no more. Bruce Jenner is gone. And you know what? I'm I'm gonna go out there and say. This. I think Bruce Jenner killed Bruce's for everybody. I think being on Keeping Up with the Kardashians ruined Bruce's for the whole next generations. That might be that might be the last the last great Bruce. But didn't didn't uh Bruce Jenner kill somebody or was that uh Caitlyn Jenner? Which oh, one ran over somebody? What? Yeah, either I don't know if it was Bruce or Caitlyn. I thought that was Brandy. No, Bruce or Caitlyn. Ran over somebody and killed them. Oh, that was a yeah. I, you know what? Now they did something on like South Park where like Caitlyn Jen was running over people in their car. Yes, and getting away with yeah, it. Yeah, she was. She was like mowing people down in her car. I, I don't. I don't get it. So I. So there was like a like hit a pedestrian or something. Mm hmm. Something yeah. like, like an old old person just killed them and and paid them off and got off. So so. uh well, I mean, running over somebody in your car is not, you know, it's not necessarily like automatically manslaughter or something. I don't know. Well, all right, then fine. But did they die? Dead. Yes. Yes, that's oh. my point. That sucks. That's, that well, is thanks, not. Thanks for bringing down the show. All right. My, my fault. All right. Well, not the greatest Bruce of all time. Bruce uh, Jenner. Yeah. Not the greatest Bruce of all time. No. Who, all right. Oh, yeah. Who, Great. Who is yeah. Who's Good on them. All right. What? I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you some. I'll give you some that are thrown out there right now from our our uh, our viewers. If you want to throw them right in, in there, we got. We have a list. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go with the ones that are right out here. Okay, this is what we got. Okay. Let's do it. We're men of the people. Let's go. So let's go with Bruce Lee versus Bruce Leroy. Oh man! Well, I can tell you, Bruce Lee is. On our top ten list, uh, Bruce Leroy, not so much. 
Well, do you know, what do you what do you know about Bruce Leroy? Um, Hold on, I gotta I gotta close the door over here. Talk, talk, talk to people real quick about Bruce Lee. I'll be right back. I'm gonna close my door. Uh, Bruce Lee was a karate man, and as we all know, karate man bruised on the inside, not on the outside. Bruce Lee fought people, and apparently, he was a real fighter. He used to go and fight people and beat the shit out of people and was like a real badass and then just did it in the movies too. So he wasn't like a fake fighter. He was like a real fighter. He used to beat the shit out of people and then he beat the shit out of people in movies and then he died. Okay. Uh, that's Bruce Lee. I, I just did a full summary on Bruce Lee. No, it's great. And, and I, you, I, don't I, even, you don't even need to add to it. It was perfect. And it's fine. I particularly appreciate when you, when you call him karate man. <laughs> like karate man like, bruised on the inside. <laughs> okay. All right. Bruce Leroy was a fictitious character in, uh, I believe Enter the Dragon. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, was a character. Bruce Lee was real. Bruce Lee was also like did amazing things for for uh, Chinese Americans within America. Like he 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 became like one of the biggest Hollywood actors, right? And then he, he, he got an icon. Bro. He he got a green horn. Uh oh, I spelled his name wrong. I wrote Bruce's Lee. I think these Bud Light, these Bud Light seltzers are maybe. Oh, thank you to Bud Light seltzer. Thank you, Bud Light seltzer. So, um, I would say Bruce Lee would have to be Bruce Leroy because Bruce Lee is a real person, and Bruce Leroy was a character. I've heard the name Bruce Leroy, but I don't, I don't know anything about it. I'm sure, I'm sure if somebody were to tell me, I'd go, "Oh yeah, no." It still no. doesn't win. No. Bruce Lee, regardless of the background of Bruce, Bruce Leroy, is way better than Bruce Leroy. I, I'll give you another one if you're out there. All right. All right. What do we got? We got Bruce Lee versus Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is on the list. All right. Bruce Willis. Well, you know what? It tis the season, right? Tis the season, the tis. holiday season. It is the season of Die Hard, the movie, the one of the you know top Christmas movies of all time. Bruce Willis, the star of Die Hard and so many other movies, he was married to Demi Moore. Uh, no. uh, now he's married to somebody else, right? I don't know. Uh, he's in a band. He's the lead singer of a band. Whoa! Yeah, he's 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 done comedy. He's done drama. He's done action. He's one of the most utilitarian actors we have. He was and the original bald man. He was the original bald badass before Jason Statham. Jason Statham stole his thunder. Yeah, I don't really watch Jason Statham movies. You didn't see The Transporter? No. You didn't see uh, those movies he did with, like, The Rock? Like, it's a spinoff on the uh, Fast and Furious franchise? No, didn't see the Fast and the Furious franchise either. None of them? No, well, I, uh, I think I saw the first one. Oh, bro, you got to come over sometime. I got them all. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right. All right, then fine. I, I, you know what? I really want to see the movies. I just don't want to go to your house. That's fine. It smells like onions. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some <laughs> oh, I know. I am well aware. I've been cooking things up in here. I like, <laughs> I like onion. Um, <laughs> Bruce Lee is an icon. Bruce Willis is a novelty. He he was one of the three uh, people who created the Planet Hollywood restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, Die Hard is his his uh, magnum opus. You know, <laughs> Bruce Willis's magnum opus, Die Hard, uh, and that was his franchise. But really, the greatest thing Bruce Willis ever did was Demi Moore, and and no. that didn't that didn't last. So I would say Bruce Lee has left a more impactful legacy than Willis. But Bruce Lee, he, it, first of all, if, if they were to fight, you know, action hero versus action hero, Bruce Lee would beat the shit out of Bruce beat Willis. Beat him to death. But, 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 John, but John McClane might. 
might survive. Bruce Lee versus Bruce Willis, Bruce Lee would win. But if you went like their characters, like, you know, like, uh, what, is it Cato in the Green Hornet versus John McClane? Yeah. Yeah, I think John McClane might, might take him. You know yeah, what I mean? John would probably take Cato because he's a killer and shoots people. You know, he just blows people away with semi-automatic weapons. You <laughs> kind of, hey, motherfucker, that's all I'm saying. So, you know, uh, but also Bruce Lee, but both were actors, right? And that was, that was kind of their, their stock and trade. Both were actors and did movies. Bruce Willis's acting catalog is vastly superior to Bruce Lee. I think yeah. Bruce Lee gets, I, Bruce Lee gets a bump because he died early. That's, no, that's a part of it. He's, he's, got, he's got the, the uh, uh, what's, uh, Kurt Cobain thing going on. Kurt Cobain was fine, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't, vener he's now venerated to the point of, uh, you know, way more than what he would have been had he not died. Uh, Zach, Zach, the difference is this. Bruce Willis was a movie star. Bruce is. was, has been. Is. Bruce Willis What's the last thing he did? One of those uh, those expendable movies, maybe? He played a bad guy in it or well, something? I don't even know. Exactly. What's the last movie you really remember him? What's the last movie Bruce, Bruce Lee did? He's an icon. The fact that we so talk Bruce about Lewis. it. Bruce Willis is not an icon. Bruce Lee is an icon. It's different. Different strata. Greatest Bruce? The greatest Bruce? Bruce Willis. That doesn't even sound right. If Bruce Willis did a Die Hard movie right now, if they if they did another Die Hard movie, would you watch it? No, because his ass is seventy. It would be terrible. What if, okay, you know what? Be better be, be, because I know you. What if Tarantino did another? Uh, 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 was the the was the one that Bruce Willis was the boxer? In? Uh, uh, what's Pulp that? Fiction Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Thank you. What, what if he did? What if he did Pulp Fiction two? Even more uh, Pulp nonfiction. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it showed you know his story like you know the prequel, Pulp Fiction two, nothing but pulp, and then, <laughs> no pulp from concentrates. That's pulp, pulp Fiction. It, it started with him uh, with Honey Bunny, or no, no, with a uh, blueberry mm -hmm. pancakes on the back of his yeah, motorcycle. Yeah. Blueberry pancakes, uh, the French girl. I would love to see like where he retired off to with them. What's going on? I would love it. I'd be okay, all over. That's my point. That's my point. It has nothing to do with. With you know, he's still a star. he just hasn't been acting because he's fucking old and he's got too much money because yeah. he was so successful that he doesn't have to do it anymore. Who's okay? Who's the greatest martial artist movie star? Me. No, no, come on, seriously, the greatest martial artist movie star. American. Now, now, are we talking about like actual martial artists or martial artist yeah. movie stars? If it's martial artist movie star total, like all of that in brackets, oh, probably Jackie I'm, Chan. You want me to help you? I can throw out a bunch of names. Well, it's, it's probably Jackie Chan. I was going to say Jackie Chan has grossed way I more did. than Bruce oh, Lee ever did. You got because he did this a lot. You got Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, who I don't really think he's the greatest fighter, but I don't think he's the greatest movie star. Steven Seagal washed. Uh, Van Damme kind of been gone for a long time. Bruce Lee. What about Jet Li? Yeah, okay, Jet Li too. But but uh, of all those, you're right. Jackie Chan probably has the longevity. But like I said, Bruce Lee uh, is an icon as far as Bruce is. Like, I don't think if you said to a Bruce, if you met a Bruce and you're like, ah, oh, Bruce, your namesake. Bruce Willis, right? <laughs> they would probably like be like you, jerk. Like they don't be like you're like who are you named after Bruce Willis, huh? Huh? But maybe, maybe they were named after Bruce Lee. And if they were, well, then here's yeah. Here and here's some negatives. I think Bruce Willis named his kids like if you want to talk about names, named them something stupid. Um, and and he named his kid what Brandon, right? And, and his and his kid died early too. That's and, Bruce. But, his kid Brandon, yeah, yeah. But also. I don't think was Bruce his given name or was that his American name? Because he was not born in America, was he? I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't know his real name. I just know Bruce Lee. Look, man, yeah. we're, we're actually, actually, this, because because I was actually leaning towards Bruce Lee because you were making a good, very good point. I was like, what is Bruce Lee's real name? Bruce Lee's full name was Lee Jun Fan. Oh, he's not he's even Lee Jun Fan. He's not he's Lee Jun Fan. Whoa, you blew. 
You blew my mind. He's not even a real Bruce. Just like potatoes are not real roots. He's <laughs> not. He is the tuber of the Bruce division. He's the tuber of Bruce's. <laughs> he's Bruce Tuber. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, he's not even a real Bruce. There you go. He can't. Now listen, uh, uh, I, I, wanna, I, want, I wanna say that he belongs on this list because he's an American Bruce. He's not a Chinese he's Bruce. He's but he is Bruce. an American Bruce, but he's the tuber of Bruce's. And for that, I think that's that's the that's the tiebreaker. Sorry, Bruce Lee. Okay, so the next one that comes Do up. Do you have any more in the all right? Uh, what, what was yeah, that? The perps are coming strong with it today. Okay. All right. All right. They got Bruce Willis. Versus Bruce Banner. You know who Bruce, Bruce Banner is? Man, I, that's the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Bruce Banner. No, but let me tell you something right now. Fuck Bruce Banner. And let me tell you why. Because I'm an Incredible Hulk stan. Incredible Hulk is the strongest there is. Incredible Hulk smash. Bruce Banner is a damn nerd scientist. And he's not even the coolest nerd scientist. The coolest nerd scientist was Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Bruce Banner, he's not even as cool as that guy who plays him in the Marvel franchise now. Bruce Banner in the comic books is just a nerd scientist. Plain and simple. That's why he hulks out. He'll whoop your ass when he goes back into his regular clothes. He's a little fucking dweeb. So fuck Bruce Banner. Bruce Willis all day, baby. But wait a second. But Bruce Banner cannot be untied from the Incredible Hulk. It's an extension of him. Bruce Banner is the Incredible Hulk. Bruce Banner harbors the Incredible Hulk, such as uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Is but, Clark Kent Superman? Yes, but that's different because Clark Kent is... Superman is always Superman. He just Can puts he on the summon the Incredible Hulk at any given time? Hold on, hold on. He, Superman pretends to be Clark Kent. It's not Clark Kent uh, wearing a Superman costume. It's Superman always wearing a Clark Kent disguise. Okay, Bruce is Man, Peter Parker Spider-Man? Yes, always. It's Spider-Man wearing a Peter Parker. Uh, but he was already Peter Parker before he got right, bit by... Right. Is fire. Fair. So it's just his 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 uh what do you call it an alter persona or whatever. But um but when Hulk turns back into Bruce Banner, I don't even think he has memories of what the Hulk did. I think he like black, he black. I think I think Bruce Banner like blacks out into a rage and turns into the Hulk, does whatever the Hulk does, and then when he turns back into Bruce Banner, he like forgot all that shit. You're like, oh, black. Then, okay, well, no, then that's terrible. Then that's terrible. He's not even the Incredible Hulk. He's just he's saying. just some guy who got that turned green, green and has anger issues. Boom. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. All right. Well, that makes it super easy. Bruce Banner sucks. He's he's not the greatest Bruce of all time. No. Uh, who else we got in here? We got uh, you guys. You guys came with it today. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me scroll back. Uh. Someone said Robert the Bruce. Now, hold on. I'm disqualifying that one. Do you even know who Robert the Bruce is? That was from a movie. That's no, no, probably no. a real person, too. Uh, Ro Robert the Bruce was uh, Game of Thrones. Was it? Right? Ask, ask. Ask our producer, because I'm pretty sure. Who is Robert the Bruce? According to Wikipedia, Robert I, popularly known as Robert the Bruce, was King of Scots from 1306 to his death in 1329. There you go. This is a real person? I would assume so. It sounds like it. Well, I thought it was a Game of Thrones character. I thought it was a Game of Thrones character, so how can he be the great? <laughs> Clear, right. Clearly, uh, we don't believe that Robert the Bruce was the uh no, most awesome. of all time. I'll, I'll put him in there. Shit, I didn't know it was. We don't know anything about it. How are you going to speak intelligently? All right, I'll tell you what. If they want Robert the Bruce included, put it in the comments, and we will read their assertions. We'll table no. Robert the Bruce. Let's go on to the next one, brother Zach. Brother Zach, here it's this easy: Bruce Willis or Robert the Bruce. 
Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about Robert the Red. King of Scots, Bruce Willis wasn't the king of shit. Yeah, but 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 Bruce Willis uh, threw Hans Gruber out a window in slow mo. Uh, that is true, but uh, it's very possible that Robert the Bruce threw like the Queen of Scots out for not bearing him a child or something. You know what I mean? You don't know that. You're I'm just talking, saying. You're talking out your ass. Bruce Other Willis do that. Bruce Willis is greater than Robert the Bruce. I don't care what you yeah, say. Robert the Bruce was in some movie, and now I don't know which one. Game of Thrones. Robert the Bruce. I never watched Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. So, man, are you really, you're telling me to keep it at 1045 and you're making, we're really arguing Bruce Willis versus Robert the Bruce? I told you we'll table it. They can do it. Move on. All right, fine. Let me see. I think they're jumping in. Robert the Bruce is the king of the Scots. I, we get, Mm -hmm. we already said that. All right. You know what? No. Hang on. Wait. All right. Uh, No. Bruce Willis. That's right. That's That's right. That's the His only argument. argument that you're of Scots. That's argument. not enough. That was, in, that was in the 14th century. Get over it. That's right. Like, you got to have, like, an interesting fact. Did he – and weren't the Scots, the Scots, like, ended up being um, oppressed? Was he – was Robert the Bruce from Braveheart? Probably, right? Oh, that's probably it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. now, they're, now they're trying to really cape for Robert the Bruce. Robert the Bruce is a real person. We figured that part out. We just didn't think of anything cool he did. So is Bruce yeah, Willis. I, 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 I think it is. Yeah, I think I think it is from Braveheart. That's what I remember from the movie. So, All right. but you know what? But he was he wasn't the star. Mel Gibson was. That's right. William <laughs> Wallace is the star, not Robert the Bruce. Look, man. Now we're getting into some real, some real uh, greatest Bruce territory. The real okay. Bruce's. Oh, okay. all right. You ready? Are you ready? Bruce Willis versus. Bruce Wayne. You ever heard of him? No. Batman? The Batman? Well, okay. no, is he the Batman, though? No, because he's Bruce Wayne. Oh, hell no. See, the thing the thing that's dope about Bruce Wayne, aside from being Batman, he's like the uh, um, James Pond of the DC Universe. He's a billionaire playboy. Does he have his demons? and his issues, and his abandonment shit, and a weird butler that he, like, keeps as his servant, and is, like, a super masochist, and, like, always takes on children to be his assistants? Yes. But, (laughs) but, Bruce Wayne fucks, okay? I'll tell you that right now. Bruce Wayne, Selena Kyle, Catwoman, all over it. Wonder Woman. I'm pretty sure he fucked Wonder Woman, dude. Like How that's that a... huh? How is that even possible? When did Wonder Woman go to Gotham City? They're part of the Justice League together. She like was mm. into him before Superman. She Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's about it. Wonder Woman gets hers. Okay. Who wins in a fight? Wonder Woman or Batman? Wonder Woman can destroy Batman in a fight. But Batman has contingency plans against the entire Justice League. Like, Batman is such a genius. He's a super detective. So imagine, he's like James Bond and Sherlock Holmes and kind of Iron Man. All in one guy with, like, super deep-seated issues from having his parents killed. Bruce Wayne? And he's a super billionaire tech genius. Like, he, he he's... Yeah, what did he make his money on? How did he become a billionaire? As a kid, his parents were billionaires. Oh, so he's he's a trust fund baby? Yeah. He he, he was just born oh, with Oh, he's, he's a spoiled trust fund baby who spent mommy and daddy's money on toys his and then parents, runs around fighting people in makeup. His parent, yes, but his parents died in front of him when he was like a kid. Mm-hmm. And then and then um what's his uh his uh, manservant's name? Alfred. Alfred raised him. So he was like raised by Alfred his whole life. He's awkward. And the whole thing with him taking on all these Robins is weird. And 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 uh he he hooked up with uh Batgirl. That's Commissioner Gordon's daughter. That's weird too, because you know he saw he was a part of her life when she was a kid. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he mm-hmm. saw it was him and the commissioner. Him and the commissioner is out there fighting crime, all that. Oh. Now, Barbara Gordon is like, what, 17, 18, 
19 years old. You gotta so, assume she's at least 18. He 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 hit it, you know. Like so, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is about that life. He gets it in. I'm telling you, Bruce Wayne fucks. Batman fights crime. Bruce Wayne fucks. Tell me something, Liza. Have you, ever danced with the, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I'm seriously considering your question right now. <laughs> I'm really thinking about it. Uh, Maybe, I I mean okay. I, that, that's an acceptable answer. But yeah. I I think I think probably the best thing that Bruce Wayne has going for him is yeah. that he is probably him and Bruce Lee are the two most recognizable Bruce names. Oh, absolutely. And the fact that he's not a real person uh, makes him you know much. He, 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 he can achieve much more than a real person can. You know, Bruce Willis to become a, a multi-billionaire playboy would uh, would need to do a lot more than he currently does. No, so, no, uh, no. And, and to be a superhero is no small feat. Well, not just that. Bruce Wayne has survived over 100 years now. Like, I want to say, I, I might be off. What year, what year was the first... That would what, not have been like that. It would have been like the fifties or sixties, right? Because, yeah. like, like, right? And and by the way, the the original Bruce Wayne on television from right here in my town. Just saying, yeah. Adam yeah. West, from yeah. right here. No, but but ask our producer what year did Batman debut? Well, because that was in the sixties. I'm saying the TV show was in the sixties. No, which means I mean, it, the show. I mean the comics. I mean like detective. Well, no, I, I'm, but I'm saying it, it couldn't have been too far before that. I mean, the first comic books weren't until like the. Uh, all right. I think it was the when 30. was the first Batman comic released? May 1939, according to Britannica. May 1939, according to Britannica. Which, by the way, I didn't know Britannica was still around. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, okay. All right, then fine. But um, Batman's got Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne has staying power. Bruce Wayne might be the greatest Bruce of all time. I don't know who else is going to be on this list, but Bruce Wayne is the opposite of Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner is a I, dwarf. Bruce Wayne is a badass. I would put Bruce Wayne ahead of Bruce Willis. Yeah. And I think Bruce Wayne. Is. All right. So let's see. I think I think we got a few more names from uh, the perch before we jump in our list. Uh Hold on. Oh, <laughs> okay. I think this is the boss. You know what that Sasha is? Banks? No. Bruce Wayne versus Bruce Springsteen. Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. baby. We were born to run. That's a now, good one. <laughs> you know what? I, uh, I, I, I misspoke because Bruce Springsteen might be the most recognizable Bruce name. And not to mention, also born in 1939. Uh, he's born. Is he really? He's almost 80. Dude, 1939. Oh, what? <laughs> that can't be right. Is that right? No, man. I've been drinking these Bud Light Celsius. When was Bruce Springsteen born? <laughs> Bruce Springsteen was born on September 23rd, 1949. 49. That's still far off. It's not so far off. <laughs> It's He's like 70, 71 years old, man. Dude, Batman is 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 only ten years older than Bruce Springsteen. Than Springsteen, which which makes me feel like Bruce Springsteen's parents might have named him after Bruce Wayne. Oh, you know, it's very possible. It's very possible. Oh. Bruce, you know what? In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and assume it. I will too. Which means yeah. Bruce Wayne is Bruce Springsteen's daddy. It's why well, Bruce Springsteen is the offspring of Bruce Wayne. I wouldn't say he's his dad because Bruce Wayne isn't married, and that's inappropriate for him to have a child out of wedlock. Dude, dude, Bruce Bruce Springsteen's dad, Daddy Springsteen, said, "You know, we're gonna name this baby Bruce after Bruce Wayne, the Batman." And he was into it. He was into it. He was reading those detective comics back yeah, in 
the mid thirties <laughs> or whenever. I'm 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 positive. All right, Bruce Wayne. Wait, hang on. Is that what DC stands for? Detective Comics? Maybe. Maybe. Ask your ask the producer. I'm gonna ask the producer. What does the DC and DC Comics stand for? DC stands for Detective Comics. Oh, how about that? That's Batman. And that was yeah, Batman. that's cool. I didn't and know. Then, I didn't know that the DC was. Wait. So, so the actual name of the company is Detective Comics Comics. Detective Comics Comics, and and the original detective was Batman, Bruce Wayne. What about Sherlock Holmes? Well, he's not the comic. I'm just saying the original detective in Detective Comics was Bruce Wayne, Batman. Just as there was also, uh, what was the one? The Superman one was originally called. I think called action comics. Do you think that it would have taken away from his credibility had his father named him Sherlock Springsteen? Or Sherlock uh, Wayne? Sherlock Wayne. Sherlock Wayne is like too much of a direct ripoff. If he had been Sherlock Wayne, then there definitely would have been a Sherlock Springsteen. You know? I agree. I, I agree. I yeah. concur. Yeah, no, Bruce Wayne. And that's it. Now we can get into our list. What? No, dude. What, are you, oh. You're going to dismiss Bruce Springsteen, the boss? Yeah. I mean, New then, Jersey. Then, then what I'm going to say is you're not a Bruce Springsteen fan. Look at me. Is that I mean, fair? Do you is know, that fair? Of course. You heard how, yeah. how long I was, I was uh, on my soapbox for The Roots. Do you want to stay on your soapbox for Bruce Springsteen versus Batman? I'm I'm not a huge Springsteen fan, but there are so many people that are. Springsteen is an icon. Like he is like some people's like Mount Rushmore greatest musical artists of all time. Like you know he is he's one of the, you know people love Neil Diamond. And people love Bruce Springsteen the same way. They love the Beatles. You know they, there's there's these like Icons it's like Bruce Lee is to martial arts what Bruce Springsteen is to like jam rock. You know what I mean? Like that's he is uh, he's the boss. He's the boss, and it's Jersey, and there's a whole thing. He he just street band. He's 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 he seems like a cool guy. Jersey born to run, born yeah. in the USA, born in, born the USA. in Brooklyn, born free. He's sure, his other that, songs uh, being born. Dude, Bruce Wayne is cool on his own. And then when he stops being Bruce Wayne, he turns into Batman. Bruce Springsteen might be cool on his own. And when he's done being Bruce Springsteen, he turns into the boss. Like, to me, it's like they both start on this cool pedestal. But then Batman takes Bruce Wayne over the top. The boss is not as fucking cool as Batman. Does it does it change your mind to know that his song "Born in the USA" was then satirized to make "Born in East LA" starring Cheech Marin? I mean, I I do bring that into contention, but still, it doesn't outweigh all the cool stuff that broke off from Batman, the whole Joker stuff. Uh. Harley yeah, Quinn. You're, you're, real, you're like way too into the Joker. Har yeah. Harley Quinn, you know, and her whole thing. Yeah, that scared some people when I really liked that movie. I mean, no, I, no, I, I, I just, I just I, mean like, no, I, I, I just, I just mean like the Joker's you're not wrong. fine. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's, it's, it's it, there's, there's, it's about deep seated like anger and just like. If, if you can't create something, burn it all down. You're right. It's it's bad. But there's something there. Batman and Joker are two sides of the same coin. That's not even this discussion. It doesn't fit right now with what we're doing. But uh, you know, we can have we can have a whole discussion. Did you say the greatest brute of all time? The Joker might be the greatest brute. Joker's a brute. And not just is Joker a brute, based off this new thing that just came out in DC Universe, there actually were three Jokers. Which is crazy because you know how Batman threw the Joker into that um, chemical stuff that bleached his skin white and turned him crazy. 
once he did it to the first one that, that they call the criminal, which is essentially the Jack Nicholson version, that Joker kept doing it to people. So he did it to a comedian, which is kind of like the last Joker that came out or, or, uh, that guy from Maroon 5 and his whole thing. And he did it to a he did it to Adam Levine. Yeah. And he did it to a, Adam Levine. Is that who, who it is? I don't Wait, know. So, so Jack, Jack Nicholson's Joker threw acid on Adam Levine? Not acid. Threw people, kept throwing people into that same chemical stuff that turned him into a Joker. And it killed a lot of people, but two survived. And he was like, ah, <laughs> not Kaiser. So they were just running around. And people didn't realize that these were different people being the Joker, different Jokers. But Joker just fun. This what? is new. Yes, dude, this is new. 2020 DC just like came out and said, like, yeah, they're actually three Jokers. And they've been killing people separately. And that's why Batman's like, why is the Joker so uh uh chaotic with his his murder? Like it's not, it's disorganized crime, it's chaos. It's because there were three psycho jokers. Out this there. is in real. This is in real life. Like there are three real jokers throwing acid on people, throwing throwing people into acid baths. This was in DC. Yeah, they just came out. Is this why? Is this why Adam Levine isn't on the Voice anymore? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So, so did Bruce Springsteen do that? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to Bruce Wayne. Type forty five. All right, Bruce Wayne. It is. Are there any? Are there any more on the perp list? No, that's uh, that's what the perps gave us. Thank you guys. All that right. was fun. Oh, hey, they, they 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 got into our list. Uh, we hey. have we have five more. I don't know that any of these are going to be able to compete with Bruce Wayne. So why don't we just why don't we just try to get through and, and keep to a tight forty five? What do you say? Yeah. Well, who do you got first? All right. First off, we got Bruce Bruce. Comedian oh. Bruce Bruce. Is you that know, Bruce, anywhere near Bruce Wayne? Bruce Bruce, big fat black comic. Might be dead. Hilarious. I don't know if he's dead or not. Might be dead? What makes you say that? Ask because him, he's ask overweight? Him. Yeah. Ask her because I haven't heard from him for like years. If he's still alive, he's retired and thus not the greatest Bruce. How old is comedian Bruce Bruce? Bruce Bruce is 55 years old. He's 55. He retired. He retired He's in the okay. prime of his life. He retired. So good for him. He made his money. He got out. He got out the game, whatever. But he's not the greatest Bruce of all time then. Okay. Who's next? All right. Uh, next one, Bruce Valanche. He of Hollywood Squares and his big fluffy beard. and The way I know Bruce. Land. Funny, funny man, funny writer, funny man. Gay guy, right? With a uh, kind of like chubby. I, be I believe he is a homosexual. Not that that matters. Play, play something. Play the greatest Bruce Valanche joke. Ask our producer if they can play the greatest. Bruce <laughs> <Valanche>. <laughs> okay. Play the greatest Bruce Valanche joke. Uh, not, I don't know what, I don't know what you want. The great, not, exactly. Not the right greatest. Uh, you know, I, it, it did give a video. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I have to, no, you know, I have to find my center. Okay. A sadist, a masochist, a pyromaniac, a zoophiliac. <laughs> a serial killer I like this joke. and a necrophiliac <laughs> are having tea <laughs> what happened the sadist says let's find a cat <laughs> and torture it sure. and the pyromaniac says Let's find a cat, torture it, set fire to it. I like his delivery. And the zoophiliac says, let's find a cat, torture it, set fire to it, and fuck it. 
And the serial killer <laughs> says, let's find a cat. <laughs> Set fire to it. Fuck it. And kill it. <laughs> and the necrophiliac <laughs> says, let's find a cat. Torture it. Set fire to it. Fuck it. Kill it. And fuck it again. <laughs> and the masochist says, meow. Oh! <laughs> That's great. All right. That's great. That's okay. Pretty That's strong. Great. That's a great joke. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, does that make him greater than Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne doesn't have a fucking sense of humor. I'll tell you that. Bruce, no, Wayne, no, Bruce Wayne sucks at comedy. Not funny. Bruce Wayne is not funny at all. Like, Bruce Wayne doesn't have a sense of humor, which is the whole point why Joker is his nemesis. Because Joker is hilarious. It's just that Joker is psychotic. He takes the joke too far. Um, man, sense of humor gets you major points. Plus, he's this isn't the funniest Bruce of all time. Okay. If it was, we'd have to throw Bruce Almighty from Jim Carrey's Bruce Almighty in here. Not the greatest Bruce of all time. Okay. Greater than Bruce Valanche. But that joke, man, that was a great joke. Fantastic. Well done. Bruce Valanche, super funny guy. Very funny on Hollywood Squares when I was a kid, too. Love the Bruce Valanche. Yeah. But not in that way. Fine. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with that. The next one on our list, uh, don't ask me how we made the top 10. Bruce Bowen. <laughs> Can we just blow Bruce past Bowen? Him? The old 3 and D guy from San Antonio Spurs in the early 2000s to the NBA. The Kobe, uh, Kobe, the Kobe stopper. stopper. <laughs> hey, out of respect for Kobe Bryant, Bruce Wayne moves on. I ain't going to take nobody. <laughs> you know, so apparently Bruce Wayne. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. You're not going to make the argument that Bruce Bowen is the greatest Bruce of all time? I'm saying Bruce Bowen may have killed Kobe. He might have set an explosion on that helicopter. Uh, no, too soon. Too soon. I don't want to hear that shit. All right. Next one. Uh, Bruce Campbell. I don't know who Bruce Campbell is. Oh, let me tell you who Bruce Campbell is. Hold on one second. Okay. Because Bruce Campbell. Um, oh, my, what, oh, the actor Bruce Campbell. He Bruce was in, um, he, he was he in uh, the burn notice. Was he the guy in the burn notice? I don't know. He's in He's Evil like Dead. A... Evil Dead 2. Um, What's that one called? Army of Darkness. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite, like, uh, underrated horror movies called um, Bubba Hotep. Have you ever seen Bubba Hotep? You and I live very different lives and watch very different movies. You and Nadine. Do you, do you like uh, horror stuff at all? It's, like, kind of campy. It's funny. We, we watch American Horror Story and things like that. We should watch Bubba Hotel. Oh, you know what we just watched during uh, October is really good, just to interject real quick, was yeah. uh, The Haunting of... Uh, Hill oh. Hill What's House? That? Hill yes. House? Did you watch that? I want to see that. I want to see it really bad. It's fantastic. Watch it. Very good. I do. My, my wife doesn't like any horror stuff. I keep telling her. She likes comedy and rom-coms and, like, cheesy. She, she watches Lifetime all day? I mean, she would if she could, but like, she didn't like any shit. Like, I told her, I'm like, I like horror, fantasy, and uh, sci-fi, and and like, literally, I watch like real stuff. Not, not I don't real housewife. <laughs> yes, I watch nothing but real stuff. <laughs> the real housewives all day, and she's mm -hmm. not. She's like, her life's too serious. She wants to joke. I want fucking darkness. I want something to mirror the darkness in my well, soul, and, and that's wanted. why she's that's why she's light and funny, and you're dark and brooding. Yeah, so she's not into it. Um, Bruce Kemp, watch Bubba Hotel. If no. you don't, if you don't like it, you can kick me in the dick. I do that anyway. Okay. Well. Uh, Bruce Campbell. So, so what you're saying is the star of Bubba Hotel is greater than Bruce Wayne. You're a jerk. 
No. Okay. Uh, this is the last one on our list. Uh, now, this is I saved him on our list because he is definitely the most important of the. <laughs> this is maybe maybe just just a notch above Bruce Campbell, but this is Lenny Bruce. Yeah, I, I knew Old comedian Lenny Bruce, 1950s pushing the envelope, Lenny Bruce. Before you even said it, I knew who you were going to say. Like uh, probably because you've seen the list, I would assume. Not well, yes, but not just <laughs> like, like um, to me, Lenny Bruce may be the most important Bruce because he was. Uh, I don't want to say subverting. Because I, I feel like that... He was subversive. He was 100% subversive. It's a perfect but I, word. But that has a negative connotation. To me, when I hear subversive, doesn't that mean like you're like uh, bringing down something? Yes, but he was bringing down the rigidity of the 1950s uh, social structure, the, you know, the... the buttoned up religious, uh, you know, uh, leave it to beaver dumb of the 1950s. He was subverting that. He dared to say a curse word in front of an audience. Can you just, imagine? Not just a curse word. Wasn't he filthy? Like to he be, said, well, to be a little lewd play, in front of an play, audience. Play some of uh, Lenny Bruce's greatest material. Let's hear, let's hear some of his stuff. Cause, cause honestly, I'm not familiar. I know what Destin. How rude is that's a joke? No, uh -oh. no. I know, I know. There's a movie called Lenny starring Destin Hoffman, and I want to see it really bad. But you know, it's just like down on my list of something to watch. But uh, he he might be the greatest Bruce man. He started the movement. He was Carlin before Carlin. He was Pryor before Pryor. There is yeah. There there is no of them. If uh, if not for Lenny Bruce, Lenny Bruce what was the guy, that, you know, when pushed the envelope that that you know that that spoke his mind, and he went to jail many times. He's arrested multiple times. There, um, what's 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 the show on Amazon with the with the comedian, the the girl comedian, um, Mrs. Maisel, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. He his character is in that a lot, um, and they I guess they kind of detail a little bit of his of his thing. But yeah, he was uh, he was subversive. He was funny. He was uh, pushing he's the important. envelope. He was. He's important. He's important. He's very important. He's the pillar of comedians saying, "Hey, this as an is 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 an art form. Me making you laugh is not just about me being a clown. I am here to tell. Literally, my truth is like blown out of proportion as a." Is a phrase now because it means like I don't need to like subscribe to reality. But when I say he was telling his truth, he's like, no, he's like, my experience in the reality of what it is, and not just that, the way he spoke is the way people speak. It was just on TV or in front of a crowd, it was frowned upon. But like people have been saying shit, fuck, dick, suck, titty, motherfucker, shit, piss, fuck, fuck, cunt, 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 suck a motherfucker, and tits. Ever since language existed, it was just a matter of saying like, oh, you can't say it on a stage. You can't say it on TV. I don't think he was saying it on like any of the, the top three stations. He was just saying in front of a crowd. And they were saying like, oh, this is a, uh, this is pornography. I want to say, I think they're saying you're like, oh, rapping. they thought it was pornography. Play me a joke, bro. Let's hear, let's hear something. I don't, I don't, I don't have anything queued up. We didn't discuss any of this stuff. No, but but you made me drink four of these. Lenny Bruce stand up YouTube. You want me what? just just to play a whole YouTube? This is uh, yeah. thirteen minutes. This is thirteen minutes long. Here we go. Turn it back. I'm trying to watch that. Liz Taylor humor. Very topical. No, I promise continuity I'll behave myself. I'll do all the lines where he hurts, you know. That's the thing, you know. I have a, a reputation for being sort of controversial and irreverent and also the semantic bear trap of bad taste. And actually I do have, and I will always be accused of bad taste by the people who eat in restaurants to reserve 
service, you know, that kind of scene to anyone yet. But you might be interested in how I became offensive. Uh, I started in school with um, uh, drinking and uh, I was really, I was like a real depressed kid, you know, seven, eight years old, I really get used and get out of here. So the teacher would really get bugged, you know, with, with me singing and carrying on and, and calling Columbus a faint and, uh, and, and boosting Aaron Burr and all that. And then smoking. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that from here? I've got like um, this tattoo here. I think so. Oh, can you see it? I... Uh, See, I smoked Marlboros and I was six years old and it grew up. <laughs> offend. There's a funny thing. It's, uh, there's semantics. There are words that offend me. Uh, let's see. Governor Farvis, segregation offend me. Uh, nighttime television offends me. Some nighttime television. <laughs> The shows that exploit homosexuality, narcotics, and prostitution under the guise of helping the societal problem. He's and close. He's close. That way for a few shows. There's one guy on the coast who's got like a nutty sense of humor, you know. His name is Paul Coates. And he found out they, like, there were kids that eight and nine years old that were sniffing airplane glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to get high on, you know. And uh, so. I had sort of a fantasy how it happened. The kid is alone in his room, and it's Saturday. The child is played by George McCready. <laughs> well, let's see now. I'm all alone in the room, and it's Saturday. Mother's away, and what will I do? That's good and hostile. Well, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll make an airplane. That's good. I'll make a Lancaster. Good structural design. I'll get the ball to it. I'll stand it here. I'll cut that off. I'll get the struts now. Now I'll get a layer of plain glue. I'll rub it on the rag and, uh, <sighs> <laughs> no. No, I think we get the point. No, no, no. I mean, we didn't get the punchline, but look, this is like the 50s. To me, the difference is this. You're a real person. Now, that doesn't take away from the cultural significance Bruce Wayne has created as far as mythos. This is a real guy, and 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 he he changed the way comedians and performers felt about just being able to uncensor themselves. That's heavy, man. So it just depends. Like, what do you, do you look at characters with equal weight as you do actual human beings? And Bruce Wayne over Bruce Lee. Well, okay. So there you go. So then characters can have more weight. So the thing is, is did this guy create more of an impact as, I mean, he's way before both of our times and we're older than a lot of our viewers. So what matters more? The impact of, you know, Richard Pryor led to Eddie Murphy, led to Martin, led to Chappelle, led to Rock and Hart and all these guys. So this guy led to George Carlin, who led to, I don't know who you want to say, Bill Burr is part of the legacy if you just want to do it by race of people who are just saying whatever the fuck they want to say and, and not really trying to... Uh, concern themselves with how it's going to be viewed by the the censoring crowd and the religious community so what do you want to do I'll let you know. wait, wait. Let, let's, let's do this i'm gonna play the song and at the end of the song you will announce the winner of the greatest bruce of all time <laughs> Bruce Wayne.
Bruce Wayne is the greatest Bruce of all time. It'd be tough to pick Lenny Bruce. I I mean, it hurt. It hurt. But I don't know him that well. I haven't. That, but that's the thing. If he was the greatest Bruce of all time, we'd still know about him. Bruce Wayne's from 1939. We still know about him today. Lenny Bruce, we know who he is. We know him. Thank you, Lenny Bruce, for your service and for what you did, for being subversive, for spreading free speech. But that's all we got. Bruce Wayne is the greatest Bruce of all time. We're the Perpendicular Mouse. Peace out. Perpendicular Mouse. Thanks for watching.